Kenneth Okonkwo, a lawyer, has spoken on the need for reconciliation and forgiveness after the Nigerian Civil War. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, I beg, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. In a video shared by Arise TV, Okonkwo said that General Gowan, Yakubu Gowan, Nigerian's former military head of state, had personally taken steps to seek forgiveness for the role he played during the war. Okonkwo mentioned that Gowan traveled across the southeastern region asking for forgiveness for those affected by the conflicts. Okonkwo emphasized that Nigerians must learn to forgive one another and let go of past grievances. He said that forgiveness is a, a crucial step towards achieving national unity and peace in Nigeria. In Okonkwo's ways, Gowan went throughout the Southeast apologizing and asking for forgiveness for, the, for his role in the Civil War. We know that Gowan has tried to make certain type of penance. We should forgive each other because hostilities need not last forever. We must learn to forget and to forgive so that we will move ahead as one united Nigeria. Okay, this is his own opinion. Meanwhile, uh, Peter will be the former Anambra state uh, governor. have also, you know, explained the reason why he congratulated Yakubu Gowan, you know, at his 90th birthday. Peter B is the former governor of Anambra State and the Labour Party's presidential candidate in the 2023 general elections. He has clarified the rationale behind his congrat congratulatory message to Nigerians' former military head of state, General Yakubu Gowan, on his 90th birthday, a gesture that has thrown mixed reactions from Nigerians. Obi, in a statement, acknowledged the sentiment expressed both publicly and privately by some Nigerians, particularly those who suffered during the Nigerian Civil War, which was fought under Gowan's leadership. I shared in some of these sentiments he said, but as a leader in the vineyard of providing directions for our country to move past our historical shortcomings, including the issues that led to the avoidable civil war, I felt the need to show the world that the ultimate heroism lies in forgiving the enemy and moving forward. Obi reflected on the third the 30 month civil war, which he described as the darkest chapter in Nigerians' 64 year journey. He noted that both Kowan and the chief prosecutor of the war, and Chief Olusegu Obrasenjo, who saw it end, are still alive and continue to play significant roles in fostering reconciliation and unity in Nigeria. Obi also recalled that. Under his tenure as governor of Anambra State, Nigeria gave the Biafran leader, the Mchukwemeka Udumegu Ojuku, a national barrier in 2012, which he believes was a bold indication of the country's willingness to move forward in the spirit of reconciliation, while recognizing that forgiveness is difficult for many particularly those directly affected by the war. Obi argued that holding on to bitterness only fuels division and uh, scatterism, leading to further conflicts. There is nothing about forgiveness. It is set, it set the person doing it free. He remarks, added, that forgiveness is a process that can help heal personal and collective wounds. Obi, who was a child during the war, emphasized that most of his supporters were, were born after the war and that dragging them back into the dark history by harboring unforgiveness 
we ray the message of hope for a new Nigeria. I believe such an art will derail the message of a new Nigeria that we insist is possible, he stated. Addressing critics who questioned his decision to publicly congratulate Gowan, Obi explained that silent would have been detrimental to the journey forward. A new Nigeria, one where political vices such as ethnic and religious divisions are eliminated. So he urged those angered by his gesture to understand his motivation and join him in the mission to build a country where forgiveness and justice prevail, paving the way for peace and good governance. So what Nigeria needs urgently to survive and strive is good governance, which can only flourish in true peace and justice, will be concluded. So right now, uh, Peter Obi and uh, Kenneth Okonkwo is now in the same page, asking for Nigerians to forgive Gowan so that Nigerians will move forward. So what's your take on this? Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.